live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering Dell EMC World 2017. Brought to you by Dell EMC. Well, good morning, welcome here on theCUBE. We continue our coverage here at Dell EMC World 2017. We're live at the Venetian, the Cube, the flagship broadcast, of course, of SiliconANGLE TV, where John Furrier loves to say, we extract the signal from the noise. To help me do that, Rebecca Knight, our co-host here. And uh, also joining us from Dell EMC is Rhea Barrett. Rhea, good to see you this morning. Thank you, thanks for the having us. The Senior Director of Product Marketing, and Marty Vandemore from Heartland Financial. Marty, you have a mouthful. You're the SVP and Director of Operations and Infrastructure. So a big portfolio with Heartland Financial. Good to see you as well, sir. Nice to be here. Tell us a little bit, first off, about your operation, you know, who you are, uh, your footprint, and a little bit more about your responsibilities. Sure, yeah. Heartland Financial is a bank holding company founded in 1981. Uh, we have 10 independent bank charters, which is a little bit different for a company our size, but we believe in having uh, a community bank focus. So we have local boards of directors and, and individual charters for our banks. We're in 12 states. Um, we have 112 locations serving 87 communities. Um, so we try to be a, have that local bank feel, but still have the financial resources to serve some of the mid-market and larger customers. Um, so yeah, we are uh, primarily in the Midwest, the Western United States, and uh, but headquartered in Dubuque, Iowa, which is where our main IT operation is located and uh, we try to service everybody out of that central location. All right, so financial services, and, and obviously, Rhea, data protection, paramount importance you know, as far as Marty's concerned. You and I were talking off camera about the difference between protection and security, and there is, there is a, not even a fine line, there's a pretty defined line, if you will. There, Go ahead and run there, me through that. It really is, it's a question we get a lot. What's the difference between data security and data protection? And one really good way to think about it is, Data security is about making sure things don't go wrong. And data protection is about recoverability when and if things go wrong, which they inevitably do. So one is about eating right and working out, uh, so that's the security aspect, and the other one is about health insurance, because you know, if something goes wrong, you want to make sure you're covered. So that's, that would be the way I would really describe the difference between the two, but we do see a convergence uh, as we look at some use cases for our customers where the two are starting to really kind of blend together and become uh, part of, you know, again, some of the challenges that customers have. Marty, you're a relatively new customer to Dell EMC. Can you tell us a little bit about what you were looking for uh, in your data protection and security and, and why, why you made the switch to Dell EMC? Uh, absolutely, yes. Uh, up until um, three or four years ago, we were a traditional shop using traditional tape backup. Um, but we knew that using traditional tape had many challenges to it. Um, the, the backup windows were shrinking, so we were having shortened windows to be able to get our data backed up and protected. Uh, the recoverability was going to take too long. And if we did have a significant issue, uh, we were not going to be able to meet our recovery time objectives, which is the amount of time to recover. Uh, over the years, I've been in banking over 30 years, and that, that window to recover has really shrunk um, from days to now hours. So having this uh, data protection suite has allowed us to shrink that recovery time objective to a very small window of hours to keep our business up and running. Can you, can you break that down about how, how your customers feel that, how that makes a difference in their lives and in their banking? Well, our customers now uh, uh, expect their financial services at their fingertips 24 seven. So if we don't have their data, first of all, secured and protected, they'll feel that in some way or another. Um, but then having it available for them at 24 seven is very important, and having their data protected allows us to do that. What are you hearing from customers since you've made the switch? Have you gotten feedback in terms of how, of how it is changing their, how they run their financial lives? I, I think uh, the most important thing is, is we're not hearing feedback from them. So in means, the negative means, way. Right, That's exactly, true. so they're being serviced. No news is good news. Exactly, right. they're it. being serviced, and uh, things are waking, working the way they should. You know, any more to, um, you know, it used to be, I guess, data centers, everything was clumped in one place, right? Um, and, and so that was a concern, because everything was in one place. Now you've got this scatter shot all these inputs and outputs, and it's, it's the going data to, fog. Yeah, it has so, a name. so it's called the so, data fog yeah, now. Run, you know, 
a new set of headaches for you, Rhea. <laughs> it really is. It's it's interesting. I mean, I, I would say in the financial services, you're also a highly regulated uh, business. So mm -hmm. much more than just how customers are um, feeling, you know, data protection. I think uh, financial services just really needs to be able to make sure that they can recover under multiple uh, scenarios. Now, the data fog is an interesting one. You talked about a lot of your different locations, and we're seeing that across all different businesses now. Uh, customers used to have a data center or two or three, and there was massive data kind of between you know, four walls, and it was pretty much straightforward to be able to protect it. Um, now we're seeing you know, cloud deployments, we're seeing data really moving to where the consum consumers are to the edge, and those four walls have pretty much disappeared, so you have no longer the center, um, you know, this data center, but more centers of data. Um, and data protection is really evolving, I think. You know, we had some cloud announcements here yesterday, and it's really all about how do you protect that data that's no longer between you know, four walls, limited to four walls. So Marty, are, are you seeing that in, in your practice in, in terms of, of uh, trying to, to maintain some control but having a lot of different repositories, if you will, of data and going out to different input places or spots or um, I guess exactly how are you uh, trying to find, I guess, answers to these kinds Making of Making your way through the data yeah, fog. That, yeah, that, the that data everybody fog. is talking about, because <laughs> all, you know, 30 years plus in the business, you've seen some changes, I would assume. I definitely have seen some changes, um, and, and we are. Financial services are, are traditionally a little bit more conservative, um, so we've been able to kind of watch this marketplace and, and learn from some of the mistakes maybe some of the other industries are making, but it's certainly starting to hit us, and our data is starting to spread. Um, but uh, we're working with uh, Dell EMC to make sure that as that data spreads, not only is it secure, it's backed up, it's protected, and we still have control over it. Absolutely. So the invisibility. Yep, yes, yes. Rhea, in terms of uh, working with, with a client like Heartland Financial, how much learning goes on between uh, your financial services clients, your clients in genomics research, your yeah. clients in other media and entertainment, how much do you learn uh, in terms of what one client is, is dealing with in terms of data challenges and another? That's a great question. Um, again, at the end of the day, one of the things that makes data protection interesting is it's not about infrastructure, it's about data. And uh, it really starts at the application level and depending on the different businesses and industries, they have very different requirements. We talked about different applications and Dell EMC within their data protection supports the most heterogeneous application platforms out there. Um, we have support for VMware, we have support for multiple hypervisors and optimized solutions. So it's really about data protection, it's not about the infrastructure or where the data sits. It's all the way from the data's creation to the networks, to the resting point of data. So we learn a lot and we're finding out more and more about how to build best practices into some of the products that we're bringing to um, market as well. I'll take a cloud as an example. We're evolving as our customers journey in cloud, how they're using, how they're deploying is changing, and we have to make sure that we're morphing our portfolio to meet the, not just their you know, requirements from yesteryear, but where they want to go and how they want to utilize these new forms of compute and deployment. Marty, I want to talk about the technology as a, as a recru recruitment tool. Uh, we've heard a lot about from a survey that Dell EMC did about how millennials will quit a job if they don't think the technology is hot. Uh, CEOs view technology uh, as, as, a, as a major way to retain their top talent. Have you seen, do you see evidence of that in your workforce at Heartland? Absolutely, yes. We've made a, a significant investment over the last three or four years in not only data protection, but also uh, the, the VBOC converged infrastructure and Having that type of technology in our shop it definitely draws in talent and, and you know, allows them to work with the latest, greatest tools, and uh, which is what excites people that are in technology. So it's, it definitely has made a difference. You know, Rhea, um, maybe the size of the enterprise. Uh, does, does that affect or does that come into play here? You've got mid-range, maybe they have different concerns, enterprise has different concerns. Absolutely. Or is there overlap there where they do have some commonality? I think they do, there's a lot of commonality. I think more and more customers are under such a time crunch and technology and, and the accelerated business cycles are 
really forcing IT to come up with solutions that are just going to be fast to deploy, easy to manage. And we see that across both mid-range customers as well as enterprise customers. Now on the enterprise customer side, they have some additional requirements. Traditional, um, traditional backup is no longer meeting their requirements for scale. Some of their applications have grown so big that you know, the, the data path needs to be addressed. You can't just do things the way you've traditionally done. The other one is, I think on the enterprise side, there's a lot more, the, the, there's a lot more complexity. So they're looking for, when we talk about ease of management, they want to have direct access to our APIs. They want to be able to build and, and automate their people and processes around the technology, but it's very different than going in and doing things in a UI. So there are a lot of overlap especially in the requirements around simplicity and speed of deployment, ease of scale. Uh, but then there's definitely some differences in terms of how they want to use the technology and how they want to deploy it and how far it needs to scale. You know, Marty, Rhea just kind of touched on something about speed. You know, um, do you find, a, is there any kind of tension or just a kind of an inherent conflict between um, the need for protection, the need for security, the need to maybe you know, walk before you run, and then maybe on the maybe on the services side, the financial services side, we got to go, 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 because we want to remain competitive. We want to offer new opportunities for our client base, but yet you've got to be the watch guard, right? You've got to make sure that the brakes are being pumped a little bit to keep some of that exuberance um, of somewhat constrained. Uh, I, I can see where you could view it that way, but what, what's happened is, is with the technology that Dell EMC has, they, their technologies run in the background, so we're still able to, to keep up and, and but still keep things protected behind that. So we're doing real-time snapshots, we're doing real-time replication, so we're able to keep those services up and, and keep up with the business, but yet still keep things uh, protected in a real-time basis. So it really hasn't hindered us at all. We've been able to keep up. That's great. Great. So, Rhea, if, if you would, let's, let's um, if you could, provide, I guess, maybe a roadmap for a, a financial service for the next three, five years. Challenges, barriers, obstacles. You know, what would it be that you'd say, boy, if we can solve this for them, because everybody's looking for the next better mousetrap, you know, what would that be? I think the deployment model's changing and what we kind of talked about, the data fog is going to be something that both financial services um, and many of our other customers in, in, in different um, industries are going to have to really figure a way around. How do you protect data that's no longer just defined by four walls? How do you define, you know, how do you protect and make sure that you can meet the regulatory compliance requirements that is looked upon by your business? And I think it's going to be a little bit of a learning. I think there is a misconception by a lot of customers that if their data is in the cloud, it's somehow automatically protected because of the nature of cloud and that's absolutely not the case. And I think if we can really help our customers with standardized deployments, uh, if we can really help our customers with uh, architectures that can not only scale up, but scale out as well, so multi-dimensional scale, so that we can meet their growing needs. Uh, and if we can help our customers with ease of, ease of deployment, uh, whether that's in the form of blueprints that they can use, whether that's in the form of uh, a technology that we announced yesterday, integrated data protection appliance, where convergence has now come to data protection, where everything is built in, cookie cuttered, so if you want to just standardize on your deployments, you now have that option. So those are some of the challenges. Make it simple, make it fast, make it scale. Words and, to live by. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and make it cheaper. Exactly. Uh, always. Yeah. That's Re always a consideration. Thank you. Rhea, Marty, thank you so much. It was a pleasure having you on the program. Thank you so Happy much. Happy to be here. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Marty. I'm Rebecca Knight for John Walls. Thank you for joining us here at Dell EMC World. We'll have more after this.